Now, a lot of us, we have some healing to do. We have recovery to do because the world we grew up in has been such a barrage against our nervous system, our endocrine system. Our health has been under attack. So there, sometimes there's going to be a period of healing. We decided as a race to experiment with chemicals. We created over 75,000 synthetic chemicals since 1940. We've released them wholesale into the environment. They're in the food chain, they're in us, they've contaminated every single creature on Earth. We, we now have to clean up. Now we have to actually turn it around and decide that we're going to move away from better living through chemistry and move towards the idea of better living through working with nature and natural laws. And the body has two ways of defending itself, which are generic ways. One of them is it, the body produces mucus to coat these chemicals so that, it, that they buffer the irritation, or it retains or, and even generates more fat. Because as we said, most of these chemicals are lipophilic or fat-loving. They don't dissolve in water, they dissolve in fat. So they attach to fat. Now, if you just sweat it off and force the body into burning fat, without creating the conditions for the body to be able to cleanse and detoxify and neutralize and make these chemicals water soluble so that it can be sweated off and peed off. So you're burning fat but not really getting rid of the toxins. These toxins are left to, to cause the damage that they were not causing because they were surrounded by fat. So as long as you're taking in more toxins than you're eliminating, your body's not going to let you burn fat because burning the fat will just put more toxins into your body. So you have to address the fact that you're, you're being assaulted with toxins before your body will allow you to let go of weight. The body only wants to heal. It's crying out to heal. That's what it wants to do. It wants to naturally detoxify. Only the body can detoxify itself, providing there's no toxicity coming in. Probably the best thing a person can do in the beginning is kind of clean themselves out and get on a, like a detoxification program. Foods that detoxify the body, um, some are really obvious and some are not. Some of the more obvious ones are um, green vegetables, chlorophyll rich foods. In hospitals, you know, chlorophyll is used uh, or was used as an internal uh, deodorant for people who had a lot of body odor. Uh, chlorophyll is a great way to clean our bodies out. So those are, of course, all of our well-grown heirloom organic vegetables. These are fantastic for cleaning our bodies out. There's some less obvious stuff as well, though, um, like gelatinous plant foods. Uh, for instance, things like chia seeds or aloe vera or the seaweeds, these foods that have a gel that they secrete when they get wet. And what those do, those gels move through our intestinal tract. If we eat something like chia seeds, if we can blend that into a drink some way or something like that and get it into our bodies, these gelatinous fibers move through our intestinal tract, absorbing things, binding them and passing them through. Particularly what they do is they absorb the bile salts that are released by the liver, bind those up and pass those out. And with it, all the fat soluble toxins the liver's trying to get rid of. Now, if we don't have these gelatinous fibers, we tend to reabsorb a lot of that. So the liver tries to get rid of something, puts it in the bile, dumps it into the small intestine, hoping that it eventually gets out of us, but it gets reabsorbed. So uh, gelatinous fibers can really do a lot to clean out the liver. I want to mention two other ingredients that are especially useful for detox. That is parsley and cilantro. Now parsley uh, cleanses your, your entire blood supply and it also gives you fresh breath. Parsley has so much chlorophyll that it just cleanses your whole system. And cilantro binds with heavy metals. And a lot of people are getting mercury, especially through the fish that they're eating or through their dental fillings. And if you eat cilantro, it can bind with that and remove it from your system so that the mercury doesn't get lodged in your body's cells. And mercury, as you know, is, is very toxic. It's, very, it's, a, it's a neurotoxin. Um, you don't, you don't want that anywhere in your brain cells, right? But cleansing our bodies is not complicated. It's not difficult. It's just going to require high-quality green plant food. It's going to require gelatinous fibers. It's going to require good water. 
It's going to mean needing good air. It's going to mean getting sunlight. And our body wants to cleanse itself. It's looking to cleanse itself. It knows how to cleanse itself. You don't even have to really do very much. Just input gentle foods, be out in nature, your body will cleanse itself very easily. And when the weight starts coming off, people become so excited, they don't want to stop. And then eventually, starting to add more and more foods back in from healthy sources that look like the foods they used to eat, but are actually uh, more satisfying and more nutritive. And they'll find that they can live a life of um, not just being uh, fit in trim, but actually feeling how they've always wanted to feel in a body that works properly and then stays healthy forever. For me, it's back to nature and it's back to the garden. Right? And if it's made in the garden, then I eat it. If it's made in a lab, it takes a lab to digest. If it has a shelf life longer than me, I don't eat it. It's just common sense. Um, the simpler I get, the healthier I get.